Hi all. So a while ago on YouTube, I stumbled down a wormhole of small kitchen appliance reviews. As I was looking to buy an air fryer and perhaps maybe a pressure cooker, that's when I stumbled across one of the worst YouTube chefs of all time. His name is Jack Scalfani, as I like to call him. Jack Salmonella Scalfani. I watch video after video of him butcher, sometimes quite literally, recipes. Imagine driving slowly past a multi-car pileup on the interstate. That's my face as I watched him teach the internet how to make partially cooked meals of varying types and taking awful and unneeded shortcuts to recipes that are already quick to prepare. The absolute horror of Jack's lazy man chefing air quote techniques to my boyfriend Tom and now since we can't unsee it we are opening your eyes to it as well I'm Michelle and I welcome you to join us for this horrific journey better known as pink chicken and the lazy man welcome back to pink chicken and the lazy man pink chicken and the ladies man oh. I brought it back this time oh everyone's chagrin oh no anyway so we're out of order this week we're just as mixed up as jack is trying to make his recipes here yeah it's day 20 something of the pandemic so nobody knows what day it is 20 anymore. it's like day 800 of the the pandemic but whatever well, we are recording this on april 903rd so so yeah anyway we recorded the cajun chicken recipe first home run recipe don't forget home, home run. run recipe my bad and now we're going to re go back and record taco zoodles wow. well it's hard because in the bloopers at the end of this video not to cut to the chase here but he mentions this is the recipe he found was called taco spaghetti but you know jack is a health nut so he can't use all that glutinous pasta he's gonna use zoodles which are zucchini spiral cut in to make it look like noodles i can't help but feel like they're only doing taco zoodles because they had too many leftover ingredients from the taco pizza recipe that they did. Well, with. see, you have little faith. I totally believe that Jack is totally committed to what he mm. thinks is a keto diet. No, no. Sort of keto, no. half keto, or no. what, do you, what do you call it? And of course, what every keto nutritionist will tell only. you, there is no, <laughs> there's no such thing as part-time keto. Your keto stands for ketosis. Your body's either doing it, your body's either eating ketones to stay alive, or it's not. It's eating carbs and sugar, like Jack is. It's like, uh, you know, Republican in name only, it's keto in name only. Yeah. Keno. Yes, Kino. Kino, yes. <laughs> it's Kino. Kino. This, this episode is only eight minutes and four seconds long. This was released six days ago because I think he's releasing now on Tuesdays and Fridays. So this may have been the Tuesday episode from last week or the Friday episode from last week. I'm not really sure which one. but oh, This is the Tuesday one. Okay, this but Tuesday one. it has 6,200 views. Probably from people saying, what the hell is a taco zoodle? zoodle? And then they tune in and then it's like a train wreck and then they have to call their friends over and be like you have to see this and they're they all get drunk or high and they're like watching this in the background they're like yeah <laughs> whatever like we used to in the old days yeah back in the day <laughs> So uh, let's hit start here. We're only at a second in. Um, so the episode I couldn't is get it. Taco Zoodles, six days ago, 6,200 views. And here we go. Away we go. All right, everybody synchronize your watches. We are hitting play in three, two, two one. one. Take it away, Jack. Now here's oh Jack's God. forced smile and forced fake laugh saying how giggly he is that he and his beloved wife Tammy Super were fighting. Super pink again. Super pink again, by the way. It's so goddamn weird because the, the exposure is good in this one. I mean, compared to the last couple ones, the, it's, the he's not fuzzy. is good. And it's horizontal. I mean, he's he's level to the horizontal plane. Somewhat. It's about as good as he gets these days. Yeah, somewhat. It's not as egregious as it was the last three videos. No. Oh, God, no. But he's talking about how, uh, you know, he they found this recipe for taco spaghetti. They've turned it into taco zoodles. And, of course, as you know, Jack, he's going to turn it into crap. We're getting into the ingredients once again here, as we usually do at the beginning of the episode. You notice his title card is basically a kitchen filled with smoke. His graphic, which is him on fire. Yeah. And then the poorly, you know, pulling out instruments. And then in the background, you see just smoke pouring around. Yeah, pretty and much. he burns everything. He, yeah. He burns everything. Very accurate. Thanks, Jack. So we got two types of cheese, mozzarella and shredded cheddar. Both uh, bag cheeses, not fresh. No. 
So they're gonna they're both filled with anti caking agents, so they're gonna be hard to melt, but he's gonna try it anyway. There was uh, some veggie spirals, some uh, Well he's got every type of tomato in this one. He's got fresh cut Roma tomatoes, he's got a can of peeled tomatoes, which is just weird, <laughs> and he's got rotel, which is basically cut up tomatoes and, and cut chilies. up peppers and sauce. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, lazy man over here wants to talk to you about boogers, so let's let him have his forum about boogers. So Jack Take once it away. again uh, yeah, thank you. So Jack once again <laughs> coats his pan with an uneven amount of olive oil and doesn't evenly coat the pan with the olive oil, but now he's getting ready to fry his ground meat. But now Jack has a new trick. Jack now takes a booger-sized hunk. <laughs> Michelle loves that. A booger-sized <laughs> hunk of ground meat and throws it in one of the little puddles of olive oils he has. And like waiting for a popcorn kernel to start bubbling before you throw the rest of the popcorn kernels in, Jack waits for the little hunk of meat, the booger of meat, to start sizzling before he throws in the rest of the ground meat. Uh, everybody knows this is useless because the ground meat's just gonna brown uh, or burn to black the way he does it. So he dumps. <laughs> Sorry, booger is funny. <laughs> Never Jeez. gets old. Because I'm five. But anyway, so he puts the beef in there and. Um... And then he gets his homemade Amish taco seasoning. Yeah, he bought taco seasoning from the Amish, as you do. The Amish, air right. quotes. Right, because who doesn't say, you know what, I'm going to drive out to the middle of Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, because I know Hezekiah and Zebedel will make me some fucking Zebedel. screaming tacos. That's right. You just, you just can't get, you know, I'm not sure I'm not sure what an Amish burrito is, but it sounds like a sex act. <laughs> Oh, God, Jesus. Speaking of sex act, then, so Jack puts his Amish taco seasoning <laughs> right on top of the ground meat, no water. <laughs> like so many other aspects of Jack's life, he's going in dry. Oh, my God. Stop it. Now comes the tomato uh, avalanche. First the Rotel, then the three scared, lifeless, peeled tomatoes. I don't get the, I, okay, like, I get everything else. I don't get the regular, like, the fresh tomatoes. Like, everything else kind of makes sense up until this point. While he does it poorly, okay, fine. But the fresh tomato, I don't understand. If you're putting in Rotel, what, what need do you have for the fresh tomato? Why does the cilantro have dark pieces in it? What is that? He's already pre-burned it. I don't, I, don't, I really well, don't know. Well, that's thinking ahead. You gotta give yeah, credit for that. But, um, so at least he puts the cilantro in at the end here and not, yeah, what was it, the taco it. pizza that he put it in right? Oh yeah, the ripoff recipe. He just yeah. dumped a big pile of it on it. Right. You don't want to, like, you want to wilt it slightly, maybe. And now screaming in horror, he dumps in his zoodles, which he has not drained. No. If you notice, as he goes to dump the bowl They may over. even be still partially frozen for all we know here, for all we could tell. Like, I can't really... Uh... Well, we don't have to worry about it, because they're going to disappear very soon. Yeah. Into that swamp of grease, you know, <laughs> greasy meat. And... <laughs> drain the swamp, oh Jack. God. Drain the swamp. At least drain your ground meat, you freaking savage. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. You're savage this episode. Wow. So we're putting in the uh, the mozzarella cheese first. Meat boogers make me very angry. <laughs> Meat boogers. And then we put in the, um, it looks like like he uses an entire bag, which is two cups of cheese of each of the um, mozzarella. And he uses like some the bag kind of shredded, shredded cheddar. Yeah, the shreddy cheddar. cheddar. Yeah, but, shredded cheddar. Uh, watch when he takes it out of the pan. First of all, he didn't mix the, he didn't even mix the cheeses together. So there's like a layer of mozzarella cheese, which you see string out here. To me, this looks like if, if I didn't see any of the other preparation tips or techniques, it would be like ground beef with cheese on the top. I would not have any idea that there's any zoodles going on no you can't see them you can't they're, they're see gone. them because no, they've no disintegrated under the heat of whatever he's been making and he's he's making fun of it here he's like oh look at look at the pendulum of the cheese oh swinging back and forth that's not something to brag about of, of all his gastronomic horrors this one if you think if you think about tasting what he's tasting imagine taco meat with some shredded cheese in it with big hunks of fresh tomato and mozzarella cheese all just swimming together there's no garlic in this there's no flavor so why is there mozzarella in it oh and and one of the weird slash egregious things at, on this episode is there's two minutes of bloopers but before that even happens there's a b-sod blue screen of death of the convoy of hope that comes swarming in from the left hand side of the screen with yeah. just as much text but even smaller so you can't hardly read it even less than before it looks like final jeopardy it, yeah that little blue oh, screen oh yeah. Yeah, yeah final jeopardy final jeopardy what is food crime his what food is food crime? crime? Yes. Well, let's run let's run through our hit list of his food crimes. Uh, number one, meat booger. Meat booger. <laughs> That's uh, my favorite one. 
Number two, does not coat the pan with the oil. Number three, I would say using the fresh tomatoes. If you're using the, the canned tomatoes, what's the point? Yeah, his tomato orgy. Yeah, the He's tomato got the canned orgy. canned tomato, the fresh tomato, the rotel tomato. It's just god awful. Right, I, I don't get that. Using Taco the mo- seasoning going in dry, that's he, number three. Using the mozzarella cheese, at I all. think is, yeah, no, don't don't even use that at all. This is not a food crime, but uh, thinking we care about his bloopers. Like, Jack, we know you screw up. Like, it's funny, it's funny when you watch someone like Babish yeah. or like one of the really accomplished chefs. Like, when you see those chefs make their little mistakes, you're like, oh, look, they're human too, because they're pulling off these magnificent culinary feats. And you're like, wow, he doesn't do anything wrong. Oh, look, it's just editing. He does some mistakes. Yeah. With Jack, it's... We, we know we you know, screw up. We know you screw up. Yeah. yeah like, you, you leave some of your stupid edits in, like... Yeah, week after week. After it's not day. a surprise. Video after video. <laughs> yeah. Year after year. And yet somehow we're still here. And yet somehow we're So that's our hit list of uh, his food crimes. Yeah, I would say um, he he leaves in the uh, the title card at the end where he has the three calls to action, but it's only like 15 seconds. But I would I would say the title card in itself is a food crime, and Convoy of Hope is also a food crime. But I mean that happens every episode, so really is that fair to say? Well, those are his repeat offenses. Oh, okay, okay. Those are the ones he'll be damned to food hell for. Cool. Or you do, Bell. But that's what we have for you this time, folks. Uh, thank you for watching along with us as Jack creates his abomination known as Taco Zoodles or Taco Spaghetti. We're sure that Jack's going to release another video coming either tomorrow or Saturday. And don't forget the we'll Make Money with YouTube. back here for that. Along with you, good people. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Uh, I am Tom the Lazy Man. And I am Michelle Pink Chicken. And we are... Pink chicken and the lazy man. Pink chicken and the lazy man. Or I, ladies man if you prefer. I do prefer. Ooh. Just like the ladies who prefer. Ooh. Have fun folks. We'll see you next time.